Legend of Total War here with part 69 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as uh, the Seleucid Empire. Right, so previously we uh, fought the the Arabs at Ubar here, defeating them and crushing their army. Because they had uh, besieged the settlement, not because we took it off them. We took it off the rebels. And I think we're moving on to the next time. I'm just thinking... What else do I need to do? My lord! Ready to sail! Yes, sir! Should be safe if you come yes, over sir. here. Ready! And you come back over here. Yes, sir! Out of move, sir! Now, I've got a unit over here that needs retraining. Uh, it's not urgent. We'll do it another turn. For that, sir! So we've got two settlements under siege. How many settlements do I have? 75. Okay, so we've we've begun our war against the the Roman Empire. They don't they don't have much. Well, it's not really the Empire, is it? It's just a republic at this stage. Early Republic shit. Probably best we get them before they hit the Marian reforms. Although I like the Roman way of fighting a hell of a lot more than the Seleucid way. So who is this? No one important. So we're making about 45,000 a turn. That's reasonable, I suppose. How's this going here with the public order? It's okay. In fact, once that's built, we might be able to leave. Make our way down here. I mean, we've already got this guy. He's got a full stack, and Kofun's not that well defended. They weren't able to recruit anything from here because we had it under siege. I think I'd prefer to do the Roman settlement first. Prepare for battle. There's nothing special at all about this army here. It's just cheap levies. We'll want to try and expand as quickly as we can through Italy before they actually send a proper army against us. However, we will we will be restricted by you know public order as per the usual. It would be better if we were taking larger cities, just because they tend to have more buildings that provide public order, and then when you exterminate them, the squalor goes right down. Alright, um, all you guys drop that. Motherfuckers. Gotta watch out for those towers. Oh, shit, I need to reorganize this thing. That'll do. Alright, some of them are shooting. It's fairly high walls, so I'm not expecting to get a heap load of kills. If they were smaller walls, it would be better. For us. Oh, we're not shooting. Right, um, let's get closer. Sitting there going, why isn't any damage being done? Oh, fucking hell, that's why, because idiot. Time to wake up, legend, fuck.
Good, seems pretty good so far. I'm getting lots of kills. Already 8% of them. Alright, let's get started on knocking down the gate. And walls and such. What shall we do? Okay, well they've pulled all their forces back, so I can't shoot them there then. Alright, let's start destroying sections of wall. So I want them to come in a bit so they can avoid the um, the towers. cannot handle triple game speed. I'd have to bring like only a couple of units for to handle it. This is why I, I, I somewhat prefer um, vanilla. It just runs a lot better. Yeah, there's less diversity, but... Really nothing to comment on here. They're gonna bring some more soldiers up this way. What are these Hellenic skirmishers? Good to shoot them. I really want to try and get this battle done without taking too many casualties, for, for obvious reasons that the fewer casualties take, the more we can keep going. Otherwise, I gotta go quite a long distance to get back to retraining. I have to go all the way back to Antioch because I don't have any other buildings that I can retrain these from. These ones probably can just go back to Greece if they get damaged. And then back to Anatolia. It makes me think I should have actually just hired loads of these, not these. Because these can be hired in Anatolia, I think. They can't, only in bloody Antioch. That's it, probably doing tons of damage to them. Let him get shot. If I can use up my, my ammo first, that would be best. I think I should use these two first. Because if they get killed, it's not such a big deal. Not that they would get killed. I mean, we're only up against crappy units, but still. Let's not get reckless. So far they've killed 23% of the enemy, that's, that's reasonable. Now since I've had, been out to see, you know, what's, what else the Romans have in the nearby area, it's not much. This area is probably the least defended in their empire. 
kingdom or whatever you want to call it, republic. So, yeah, I want to I try and get my army that sets Epidemnos over here. Conquer them quickly. I've always said taking out big countries are a lot easier than taking out lots of small ones. Because big ones will leave their settlements undefended, small ones generally don't. And I do like an undefended settlement. Alright, you can leave. Preferably quickly. So let's start doing this with our guard mode. Everyone's been saying don't use guard mode with pikes. I mean, keep in mind, guys, you know, um, when you guys gave me advice, it was like episode 12, and I had already recorded up to here by episode 12, so I was in when it was released, so I do pre record quite a, a long distance ahead. But I am, I am somewhat listening to that advice, but I am going to try what you guys have said, because I'll admit it when I don't know something. And I don't know Pikes well, especially not in EV. Because I personally think that Pikes are shit. But I know that the Pikes are their best units. So kill him right down to the last man, that'd be awesome. You're going to want to get your Pikes down like right now. You have got to be shitting me. Oh, okay. Just in time there. Okay, they're out of ammo, they can stand back. So how are we going now? 30%, but that's the easy part done, really. Shooting them's easy. Now, now for the grind here. Pikes just take a long time to do anything. They're really not good at attacking settlements, in my opinion. Not on this difficulty. Because that's the thing, their strength is just sitting there and not letting the enemy through. That's their strength, but we're the ones trying to get through. So their strength is also their weakness, sort of. Alright, I want you to come over here. And I want you to get over there. Make sure no one else comes over here to help them. I want you to pincer them. And you should probably be getting close. Come on, come on, come on. Fucking stupid thing. It's always good when they break. Three kills. Jeez. It's a good thing I put another one down. What the hell? Just let them through. You lucky I'm in a good mood. I would have fucking executed a lot of you for that. After the war's over. Fucking idiots, shoot my own guys there. Well, that sucked. Not only did they let everyone through, but then they copped a heap load of shot from these guys. So that's really bad. But, you know, whatever. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, 
And they do definitely push forward a lot more when they're not in guard mode. I'll give them that. I just don't understand why that needs to happen. Yeah, that's okay. If they want to stay in the box like that, it's fine. Against a small unit like this. What the fuck? I just don't understand why you feel like you need to do that. Like, the thing is, they don't even have an attack order on this. They just, they're just supposed to stand in a certain position. They don't do it. People said, play the, uh, the Seleucids just to fucking troll me. They're like, he'll hate it. Make him play the Seleucids. Yeah, well, next time I won't put up the vote. Uh, there won't be a next time for EB. I'm only doing the one. The game takes too long to finish. It's already going to be my longest campaign ever. And we're, we're up to episode, what, 69 now, and I have a third of the world? So, what's that mean? We're going to get to, for like, 220 episodes. Unless they auto-resolve a hell of a lot more, but then... Auto-resolve is shit. You know, if you're in pike formation, they should always keep their fucking pikes down. So, what are we up to now? 62%. We've only lost 1%. I guess that's alright. It's just, I don't want to lose it. I just don't like to see my guys performing badly, that's all. I mean, yeah, we're, we're doing well, but it could be so much better if they just did as they were told. Bikes down. No being stupid, okay? Do it properly. <laughs> Fucking typical. Look at them. It just doesn't make sense why they do this every single time. Yep, the enemy's right in front of us. Well, let's pike the, let's pike the building next to us. Luckily, we're still winning. What are these? Hastati. Easily kill them. got to be shitting me again? It doesn't make sense why they do that. The enemy is right in front of you, moron. It's no wonder they're taking so much damage. They're showing their fucking flanks to the enemy. I think I just gotta learn to accept it. The fucking mongoloids. Maybe if you just charge at them, maybe we can break them. That's it. Zigzag around here as we're trying to get these guys. It's, it's a brilliant idea. 
We're certainly gonna have to send some units back for retraining. What a mess. It's not even my fault. I mean, what can I do? I gave them the right order. I'm doing what you guys tell me to do. You know, I'm not using guard mode. I'm using the attack backspace. It doesn't do anything. I mean, when they're out in the field, they do all right. They are very good defensive units, I give them that. But then again, I'm, I'm, I never defend myself. Never have to. I'm always on the attack. Which is the best way to be. Like, I remember someone was saying, like, Oh, I just build lots of stone walls and do it that way. You can't defeat an enemy with stone walls. A stone wall might prevent you from losing, but you won't win either. If that makes sense. Come on, hope and die. Still got some ammunition, but it's just awkward to get them over here now. It's kind of good actually that this one's taking so much damage. We'll keep these two out of it now. Let these two handle it. Which there should be plenty. But this is not much left. You get in here as well. Just make sure they don't break. Which they shouldn't. I mean, they've got a decent amount of experience. Right, speed this up. No, it doesn't. can't handle that speed. gain some experience. It's good, makes me a bit better. Even when they're using this stupid secondary attack, it still makes them better. It's a good experience. And just, just in case you're wondering, that does. It's the same thing as backspace. Exact same thing. I mean, one of the things I like about this unit these park units is that they come in groups of 242 that's you know huge numbers their price is not too bad and they are pretty much good against everything if they do perform well which that's the that's the that's the problem their performance is usually shockingly bad right, now they're, they're doing it right So yeah, some units will have to be sent back for retraining, but that's fine. I might send a, um, a group of reinforcements, because there's a whole bunch of men in Antioch. So look at this. Like, this is beyond uncalled for. Like, I did not give them any order to, to, you know, face backwards. And they're not on guard mode, so I don't know how they get that in their heads. It's just bugged. Okay, we're kicking their ass now. There's too, too few of them to do anything. I don't think that's really going to do anything. Yeah, just forget about pike mode now and just fucking just zerg them. Good, well the kill ratio is great, it's just... You know, I wanted better. I mean, the thing is, we brought a professional army to what they had was just militia. 
We, you know, we took a lot of casualties. I mean, we can afford to take casualties. I mean, we're the strongest faction, but still. We want to do better. Okay, good. I was a little bit concerned that the public order might not be very good. Actually, it, is, it isn't very good at all, because he's got a lot of influence. And that's the best that they can get. As far as influence is concerned. They've got the Mar Marian reforms. Well then. Keep that. Yeah, I think we should um, take on uh, Sicily next. Don't worry too much about going up to directly to Rome. Although it would be nice to do that. Not nice for them, nice for me. You'll need to go back for retraining. So will you. Ships ready. Just gotta be careful, because... There's pirates in the, in the uh, seas around here. Okay, so you, you've got some influence, don't you? My Lord. And you have no influence. But do you have anything that might help with public order at all? No. Do you have anything that might help with public order? That would. Okay. Um, I'm going to put all these guys on the boat here. And he's going to transfer some stuff that's going to help. is that good anything we can do to reduce unrest that'll help yes, Forward. Yes, Forward. okay who's in charge no nope, can't let you be in charge oh god damn it Are you able to recruit? Yeah. Okay, now, out of curiosity, if you were to leave here... Probably goes to... Of course I go down to zero. I don't know, maybe we could risk... Uh, risk it. You can stay here. Oh, come on, you are not the governor here. You can, you can piss off back to Pella, you prick. I suppose landing them there is good enough. Okay, I want to reorganize this. Okay, also, you and you going on the boats, you're going home. You can have them. And I want one of their cav. I guess you're going out that way. To RP. Okay, that seems good to me. Yeah, you should come to RP. Okay, there we go. There's their, their Marian legionary cohort shit. 
They must have got it fairly recently. Fuck, they're able to recruit some bloody good units. It's a good thing we came when we did. No wonder they're getting so strong. We've got the Marion reforms. They're getting their best units out there. Alright then. Oh, we've already hit half an hour. I don't have time to do that one. It could cause a crash. Alright, what I'll do is I'll um, just go through, build some stuff, and then um, end the video there, I suppose. That's right. I was going to send these guys. My Lord. You can stay right there. To go and clear this away. It's going to order resolve it. I don't know if it increased our money or not. Hard to tell. There's no one there. You guys can come there. Need population growth. Settlements this. No, it's under threat. Don't build don't build this. That, that being said, if we did that we wouldn't have enough money for anything else. Or much else. Um there's no growth happening here, which is fine by me. For the time being. I guess build that, that'll reduce corruption a little bit. Keep it under control. Keep it busy for a long time as well. Wait, Tarsus doesn't need that. That's fairly cheap. You know, all things considered. Did it finish building the um, the mines? Good, so it's making a lot of money off that now. There's no corruption here. It's good settlement. A lot of unrest. But that's okay, because it's close to the capital. Large city. Getting close to becoming a huge city. This guy's old, but he's not that old. Yeah, build that. I do want to eventually build that, though. <laughs> Jeez, it would take a little while to actually make a profit off of that investment. Alexandria is nearly finished. It's got a smidge of corruption there. So that would take about 120 turns to actually make a profit off that. Which is fine, there's probably still 120 turns left to go, so... Not to mention the corruption's going away. But we'd make more money with that, and that, that'd come in sooner. So we'll go with that. just stuff that's going to reduce corruption. However, here, the, um, the public good is actually pretty good because it's on normal tax rate. It could be good to improve our, our harbour to make more money. More money means more buildings and more troops. Fuck, spiders almost had them. Bloody people. That'll be fine. sort that out later. Where was that other settlement? It was Chach. No, where was, where was the... Fuck. Where was the general? He had a heaps of influence. Chach, right there. Are you able to leave here by any chance? Okay, good. Settlement's fine. Why don't you come down to here? Looks like you might be needed. This guy's got a lot of influence. And I'd like to slow down the, the rate that it's growing.
Okay, I think I'll uh, end the episode here, guys. So like and subscribe, part 70 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.